Good morning. It is Wednesday, February 21st, 2024, back here for Daily Shakeup number 852. And today I want to talk about competition and secret sauce. A number of years ago, my buddy Matt and I, when we would travel to other towns, we always did some research to see what's the most famous food for either that city or that state. And on a trip to Detroit, Michigan, actually we're heading to Windsor, Ontario, we did some research and found out that Detroit and Michigan are famous for Coney Island dogs. I don't know where it comes from. I'm sure there's a story. We were kind of amazed. So we looked up who were the best Coney dogs in Michigan. Turns out, very interestingly enough, that number one and number two, and I recently saw an article, said the same thing. Number one and number two for Coney dogs in Detroit, Michigan, are Lafayette Coney Island and American Coney Island. And you can see the signs for their businesses behind me. Yes, you see it right. They are literally attached to each other on the same street, Lafayette in downtown Michigan. So talk about competition. They are right next to each other. And yet, According to what I've read, they're both still thriving. I forget which one. One of these have been in business since 1917. We're talking about Coney dogs. How much can you differentiate Coney dogs? Apparently, enough. So often we do make two mistakes when it comes to competition. One is <clears throat> we see everything as competition. We're always trying to chase them. And we're trying to be more like them. Or we say, I have no competition. Well, I'm pretty sure that Lafayette and American have a hard time saying they have no competition. All they have to do is look out the front door. The real question here is, what ways are they focusing on their business, on the part of their business that makes them special or unique? What's their secret sauce? Uh, my guess is it's not earth-shattering, but it's enough of a difference. My point is not to say to you, try and be as close to the competition as possible, that you don't have to be really different. But I'm saying, focus on your secret sauce more than what your competition is doing. The more you focus on the competition, the less magic you're bringing to your business. You've got the magic. If you don't have any magic, then it, maybe it's time to get out of the business. But these two, Lafayette and American, prove to us that we can thrive with competition, and it all comes down what's going to be that little thing that makes us special, different, and edible. That's it for today. Keep taking care of yourself and everyone around you, and stay connected.